Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And this is pretty cool. It's not as cool. This isn't really made for a laser graver. This is a picture of my granddaughter. This is what it looks like in the file. And I, I helped somebody with a cut order. They're having trouble cutting it. And he sent me the link. And it's easy and it's simple. It's really made for a vinyl cutter. And then they would cut this out and then peel off basically the white layer and then print that onto a t-shirt is the best in like a white t-shirt. But I thought, why can't you do this out of wood? And I almost went too far and, and this is 10 inches. And I, so there's basically a black ring and spiral and a white one. Uh, I used some black uh, coated black wood MDF from uh, Laser Jump Start. And then I took the second ring out and I painted it white. It was a lot of work to kind of get them back in together. Uh, but it looks pretty cool. It actually looks better a little bit in person than the picture is. So how did I do that? I just went to Spiral Betty's website and I upload a picture and I just took a sample of another one and I just, then you can make it bigger or smaller and then say, okay, and it didn't work. And then I go to the black and white and there's a lot you can do with it. You can make less rings. So it'd be a little easier, but you lose a lot of contrast. I mean, look, if you extended that out, I mean, that would almost be impossible with a laser uh, unless you made it like 24 by 24. And I'm thinking about what if you engrave the black lines and then you can do other, this is about where I probably did it, about right in there. You can scale it, you know, bring up the image left and right. You can bring up the lightness, but that's just, I guess that is changing the thickness of the lines. And then contrast, which is, I guess, doing the, the opposite, change the, the other lines. So let's say we're good with that and just go right here to download the image. And there it is. And then uh, save the image. I'm going to just leave it like that, Spiral Betty's. And then I went into Corel. And I import the image. Well, I'm under documents. Let's go to pictures. And there's Spiral Betty right there. Import it. And then I, you know, they start out at five by five. If you're gonna laser engrave this, you need to do it more than five by five because uh, the rings are going to be so small. I did mine at 10 by 10, so this is 10 by 10. And then all you do, you don't have to do much. Go to Trace Bitmap, uh, Outline Trace. I'm going to say Detail Logo. And it's going to take just a second. I just did this earlier, and I hope I can. So your Trace copy will be on co top. And then go up to object and let me make sure this is the trace copy. Yeah, you can tell it's a trace copy because this still has a square around it and this one does it. So I'm gonna, all I think all I did was left click, right click, and there's your cut lines. Now you can't see the picture anymore because it's hidden in there, but you can see the, the thinness and the thickness. And now it, it was a lot of work to put this back together. I'll, I won't be, uh, you know, making fun of this. It's just, it's not made for a laser graver. But what I was thinking about, instead of cutting it out, it looked pretty cool. If you took the smart field tool, let's get a little closer. And it's going to take just a second. You could engrave that out and then take away the lines. Whoop, took away the, the feel. So that, you know, would be engraved and it would look pretty good. Just the black would be engraved and the white would not.
Now it would take, you could do this in a five by five and just, you know, I'm not going to say it's for everybody. It's actually, you know, if you look at that, you can see the, you can see the picture now, uh, now that we take away the hairlines, but that's what it looks like. Anyway, a little bit of fun. I will put this link to the bottom of the video. Uh, you know, if you're a printer or you uh, cut on vinyl, which I totally don't understand, uh, that might be pretty, pretty helpful. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.